Hey guys, I am Squishy the Titan, and welcome to part two of Let's Play a Late Night Drink, an Amnesia Custom Story. I, ooh, glitchy textures. Ooh, ooh, I found a flaw in an otherwise so far awesome game. Uh, but in the last video we dipped our toes into this new custom story, and it started off real strong, and I think I'm going to enjoy this. But at the same time, I'm not going to enjoy it because it's scaring the living shit out of me, giving me doorways flashbacks. But let's, uh, let's head right in. I'm not... I don't like how this is gonna... I don't like how... Oh, do, oh brute! 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 No! 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 Down the ladder! Down the ladder! Down the ladder! Down the ladder! No! 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 What? What? Did you... Wow! I was holding down W the entire fucking time. And it pulled me back. God damn it. D'Angelo, you sick fuck. You're a bastard. You're a bastard. Oh god, now it's a nightmare. I'm reliving gym class again. Ugh. Oh, now it really is a nightmare. That's the sound people make when I'm naked. So great, I'm in a nightmare where I'm climbing a rope, naked. Oh, great. Anyway. Uh, not gonna complain about it. Oh, snap! Oh! Oh, that's why he screamed. The rope is around his throat. But then again, how would he scream since I'd be cutting off all air circulation with the weight of my body? Hi, guys. What's going on? Looking a little tired there. Maybe you should stop doing the wall sit. If you need any water, there's some down there. Bye. Alright. Uh, okay. A room with many doors. Which one's the correct door? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, you. Okay. Wrong door! Okay. I see light. Is that a way out of here? Angel statue. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my liquid doctor pepper courage I am not a paid dr. pepper spokesman I just fucking love it hi what's up I don't trust you after the great work is that an angel she's beautiful um <laughs> cool face hello no, this is wrong. You, what are you? Why am I here? Please, let me go. I'm begging you. Please, let me go. Wait, I didn't mean... No! I won't be going back in there anytime soon. There's an invisible wall. See, look. There's actually invisible walls in this game. Wait. Will this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if the uh, box would actually interact with the invisible wall, but here you go. See? Invisible wall! The moment I saw you down here, I knew you had gotten into the previous owner's stash of self-made wine. You forgot the apostrophe. A complete whack job that guy was. He used all sorts of hallucin hallucin hallucinogenic substances making that stuff. I had planned to clear this cellar of that junk, but I thought it best to consult you first. Luckily, upon seeing you crawl around the same hallway over and over, I knew you had drank one of the less dangerous ones. Some of those mixtures have some pretty nasty effects. 
Nevertheless, I locked the cellar door to be safe, and hung the spare key you dropped during your episode behind this note. Once you've come to your senses, come on upstairs, your landlord. Okay. Real quick! I'm gonna call bullshit, because there's no box here with the lantern and the oil, and I can tell that this is not real. Calling it right now. Knew it. Hi. How's it going? How's it going, Grunty Poo? You're a big Grunty Poo, aren't you? Deep, I, deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, uh, loading, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Alright, I'm back in that room. Who are you? How did you get in here? I don't even know where here is, and why did a damn angel try to kill me? My deepest apologies. I figured you were one of those monsters wearing a human guise. Tell me how you got here. I don't know. Where are you, and where am I? I am too broken to retain a physical presence. Come on. Please, tell me, what is this place? A sort of void between life and death. A void? These doors, where do they lead? My time spent here has broken my mind. These doors lead to the shattered fragments of my psyche. How do I get out of this place? I believe that if my mind were to be restored, I could help you. <clears throat> Alright, so I just go into these rooms and get your head back in order. That sounds simple. Deceptively so. Each fragment contains a piece of my mind, my memories, my thoughts, my fears. They will shape each room. Some may not be safe. It seems like I don't have a choice in this matter if I want to get home. Then hurry. You being here seems to be accelerating my degradation. Which room should I go to first? It doesn't matter, though only a few are open. I've kept the rest closed for safety. Work on the ones that are open and I'll get the rest open. The signs above the doors tell where each leads. Okay. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's see what we're working with here. Got... Love. Selfishness. Childhood. Knowledge. Compassion. Confusion. Arrogance. Anger. Sorrow. Humor, fear, joy. Okay. I am not looking forward to fear or anger. Or maybe all of these are just going to be kind of fucked up in their own way. Let's check out love first. Seems there's somebody else waiting on the bus. I just want it to be known, D'Angelo, I fucking love your soundtrack. Please, I hope you're watching this. I love your soundtrack so much. Hey, are you waiting for the bus too? Yes. Oh, sorry if I sounded creepy. Just so you know, I'm not a serial killer or anything. That's good to know. If I was, I probably wouldn't look like I do. Uh, not that I know what a serial killer would look like. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to try and actually, like, voice act this part. Uh, cause this part is just so cool. Looks like that girl from before is at the bus stop. Hi there. Oh, hello again. I guess meeting here doesn't, again, doesn't bode well for my not-a-serial-killer status. I'll have to keep my eye on you. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't give your name, get your name last time. I didn't get it. I'm Vincent. Hello, Vincent. Um, what? Nothing. It's raining. Damn. It wasn't supposed to rain today.
Are you alright? I really don't like water. Are you made of sugar or something? I, no, I just... Um, um, <laughs> you can stand under my umbrella if you want. Thank you. Anna. Huh? It's my name. Oh, it's nice. What made you change your mind? Jury was still out on your serial killer status. I see. And the verdict? I don't think a serial killer could be afraid of water. Jason Voorhees was. You dumbass! <laughs> you really are an idiot, aren't you? That seems to be how things work out for me. When did it happen? When did I become an idiot? No, I get the feeling that's genetic. I'm talking about the hydrophobia. I almost drowned as a child. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. Oh, I see the bus. Ah, well it was nice to see you again. You too. Damn it, Vincent, make a move. Just ask her out already. This is my spare umbrella. You can have it if you'll walk me home. Sure. Thanks. Most people who knew me are aware that I have a certain who know me have are aware that I have a certain phobia of water. But when I met you, you sheltered me from the storm, both the real one and the one in my head. When I'm with you, I'm not afraid anymore. You offered me protection from the rain, and I promise to show you every day that even though I may be prone to childish fears, I love you more than anything in the world. Good God. That is probably the quickest I've been invested into a character. Since, well, that was almost as quick as Beyond Two Souls. Well, no, actually, yeah, that's quicker than Beyond Two Souls that I'm invested in this character and their story. Okay, yeah, I'm being pulled back to that. My god, that was cheesy. I never knew I could be guilty of so much hyperbole. I'm such an idiot. Well, you're my idiot, and I think it's cute when you ramble. That was awesome! I have another piece. So far, your memories have been rather happy. How did you wind up in a place like this? I can't remember. I imagine the same way you did. Hopefully these fragments will help us both figure that out. That was so cool! Oh, I like that so much! Childhood. Am I gonna have to relive him almost drowning? I don't want to do that. It's going to make me not feel good for him. Oh my god! I'm a kid! I'm a fucking kid! Okay. What have we got here? Picked up closet key. Oh, uh, I forgot to read the thing out loud. Uh, maybe I can find a way to get through that window. He he's basically grounded. He's basically grounded and uh, he wants to escape. And here we find we actually just found out that uh, Michael, the character we're playing as, was an orphan because he said that uh, he got into a lot of trouble at the orphanage. Anyway, so yeah, let's the rope, rope. I can use that to get out. Come on, rope. Cannot use this item this way. Oh, it's a closet key. Okay, closet key. Oh! Shirts! I can tie the shirts together and make a rope! Com combine- oh. They're not in my inventory. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Hwah! Hwah! Tennis racket! Badminton racket! Yeah! You have a blue glowy thing around you! Knife? Why? Not why do you have a blue glowy thing, I assume that's because, yeah, I have to pick you up. Why is there a dagger in a child's room? That seems like bad parenting. Very, very bad parenting. Hello. Hey, baby. Cool face. What's up? I'm bad at hitting on girls. Anyway. Anything in here? 
believe I checked those. I don't know. Hello. Okie dokie. That's nothing. I don't know. I didn't check on the bed yet. Anything, anything. What about behind the bed? Ho! Oh! That would have taken me so long! Oh my god, I'm so glad. So, so glad. A crowbar! What? Why do I need a crowbar to- <gasps> The windows! Oh, the chair! Chair! Help me! Assist me in this... Task! Hey! Hey! I wasn't done with you! No! You're not finished! Oh my god, I'm standing in there. Okay, I'm sta I was standing in the drawer for a second. Minor breakage of the game. Yeah. Managed to pull down the curtains with the crowbar. I guess I'm using curtains. Uh, is there anything else? There's another curtain. Dagger? Why is there a little square around the dagger? Hmm. You have everything needed to make a rope to escape out the window. Can I... I wanna... I wanna use it on the... Oh, there's the... Thingy. Fragment. I have the peace of mind. Peace of mind. That's it. Anyway. That was... Childhood. Awesome. That wasn't so hard. They will not all be that simple. Stay on your toes. Honestly... The last man on earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock on the door. Frederick Brown. So I gather you are Vincent and Anna. It would seem so. My memory is still foggy at best. But finding those pieces seems to be helping. And you are Anna? Yes. I still have my memories. Though it seems as long as I have here, I've lost my blah. I did not catch that. But. Anyway, I'm all out of time. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, rate comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me. I'm Squishy the Titan, and I will see you in part three of Let's Play a Late Night Drink. Bye!